Hey everybody, Wrestling Figure Observer Podcast Episode 10. It's September 20 and we are already at Episode 10. And I really want to thank all of you guys for always supporting the podcast. I really appreciate it. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback about it. So thank you. We're going to keep doing this. And as always, I'm going to bring you up to date on all the news from the wrestling figure world today. And before we get into that, I want to let you know about a new Facebook group, a wrestling figure Facebook group. It's called the International Asylum of Wrestling Collectors. And the cool thing about this group is that if you post in there, at the end of the month, you will have a chance to win a free Mattel prototype or Jax sample figure. All you gotta do is post in the group and you automatically qualify to win one of these awesome prizes. So that's really cool, you should definitely check out that group. Uh, just type in your Facebook search engine, um, International Asylum of Wrestling Collectors. So let's get into the topic of today and we have a few, like I said it's slow at the moment with news from the wrestling figure world as we have just seen so much in the last few months. But we're going to talk about Basic 67, we're going to talk about the contract signing playset, there's a huge update on that one and then we're also going to talk Ring of Honor figures. And one other thing that I want to address is that people ask a lot, will you cover the new WWE Jax figure line? Because Jax Pacific launched a new line of wrestling figures that is only available in Asia. And I'm not going to talk about these today on the podcast because I hope that I will get my hands on them really soon so we can actually do a re review of these or something on the channel so I'm l I'm holding out for that because they are in stores here I just gotta find the right store to pick them up so stay tuned for that but yeah let's get into today's news and we got mock pictures of basic 67 and this is not such a big thing as we have seen this set before not all of the figures, but most of them. And the only reason I really wanted to talk about these is because these already got the new uh, packaging for the new year. So it isn't a lot different than the other packaging, but it's a little bit different as you can see here. Um, it now says Series 67 here on the box. so. That's new, they didn't include that one for a while, but they do again now. And here on Naomi, you can see they have the uh, changed the Divas logo to the women's division logo. I, I didn't even know that one existed, but yeah, we have the women's division logo now on the uh, Diva uh, on the women's figure. Sorry, and yeah. Also, I want to talk about the John Cena. It seems like John Cena is in every set now and he just comes with a different painted on shirt. But another thing that I noticed here is that a new head scan. It kind of looks to me like it is. Um, it kind of looks like they mixed two of his older head scans together into one kind of. But it's, it looks like a new one, it's not the best, we had better Cena head scans. But I just wanted to talk about that really quick. And then the figure we hadn't seen pictures on was Goldust. And that's just a re-release from Basic 14, the Royal Rumble Heritage series. That came out back in, was it 2012? I think that was 2012. Um, so yeah, that came out and... Yeah, they re-released it and they added the SmackDown logo for that. I think that's really weird. They should have gone with the Legends logo, but whatever. There we have Basic 67. And now I want to talk about the Ring of Honor line. And if you weren't aware of these, um, they are made by Figures Toy Company. And they have just 
released some pictures of two new figures. Um, we once have Bobby Fish. Um, if you don't know him from Ring of Honor, Bobby Fish. And I actually think that figure doesn't look too bad. The head skin is pretty good. It comes with the Red Dragon t-shirt. And I think it's one of the better um, figures, toy company figures. Because some of those look absolutely horrible. But that Bobby Fish is pretty cool. And yeah, it's a pretty cool figure. I still haven't bought any of those figures. Ring of Honor Series 1 already dropped for a while, but they are just expensive and I don't really see the quality being that great. And I don't know, I really was excited for that line once, but the excitement isn't really there anymore. And now they also showed Adam Cole. And first off, it looks like Adam Cole got obese or something like he looks really fat with that shirt on and it looks really weird. They had scan. It looked a lot better. He was scheduled for series 1 and they had like some head scans prototypes like 2 years ago whenever it was. And there it looked pretty good and here I don't really I mean you can tell that it's Adam Cole but I think it doesn't look too great to be honest. And the shirt really makes him look fat. Uh, I really would want an Adam Cole figure, but I don't know if I will pick this up. By the way, this will be in Ring of Honor Series 2. And I got some release dates here for upcoming figures of um, Figures Toy Company. And okay, they're also doing a Rising Stars line, which is basically independent wrestling talent. And they have a lot of guys in there like AJ Styles, Luke Gallows that they signed like years ago. And the figures still haven't uh, hit their side. And they're already with WWE again. And I guess Mattel is going to release AJ Styles again before them. So the same thing ba um, basically happened with Kevin Steen aka Kevin Owens. So the Rising Stars is the set with AJ Styles, the Young Bucks are coming, so Mattel can make Young Bucks, so there's your only way to go for Young Bucks figures. And those are announced for November, so that's pretty soon. Um, I wouldn't put my money on it that they come out in November, because they have been pretty weird with release dates, so... and. Ring of Honor Series 2, that's where Bobby Fish and Adam Cole are supposed to be in, are targeted for January. So, there you go, there you have some news on the Ring of Honor figures. And actually we have a huge update on the playset, the contract signing playset that we had on the last episode. And it finally hit stores in the UK. A member from the Wrestling Fix forum posted about it and the set actually includes a lot of more accessories than we thought. So I want to give you a quick run through what is included in this set. We have ring steps, we have the table and with the table claw which is really cool for the contract signing. We also get an announcer's table which is awesome. We get that basic 57 Finn Balor figure. We get a sledgehammer, a crotch, a podium. I believe it's similar to the one we got with Bruno Sammartino in Elite 25. Then we get two microphones, a contract, a pen and two deluxe... How do they call it? Two deluxe, deluxe reclining chairs? Whatever. Those are those announcers slash contract signing chairs. And I'm really excited for those. I gotta find a way to get this playset. I think it is really awesome. And another thing we have on here on the packaging is Kevin Owens. And this is actually Kevin Owens that isn't released yet. So that's a new basic Kevin Owens there. I don't know if they will release it or not. Sometimes they just put random figures on the back that they actually won't even release. Uh, there was a John Cena on the entrance stage place that a while ago 
uh, that never got released so they do that sometimes I think there was a yellow basic Roman Reigns some time ago on a ring box and that never uh, really made it out too so I don't know if we're going to get this Kevin Owens but it doesn't look too great anyways in my opinion so yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up for this episode uh, a quick update if you didn't know that the Toys R Us exclusive Roman Reigns also hit stores so a little bit earlier than expected I would say so that's a cool thing you can pick that up right now at your local Toys R Us if you are in the US of course only US stores have it available as of now and as always guys I hope you enjoyed this Observer podcast we will be back once we have more news. I thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.